Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Prey, where, yes, back in the Arboretum, all of a sudden there's all of this nice alien corally stuff here. It's showing up as well as a whole bunch of aliens. And yes, last time we tried to end the game by just fleeing the station. But weirdly, if you try and escape back to Earth, and all that happens is you end up killed. And she is not the one, try again, says somebody. Very, very interesting indeed. So, that is not a way to uh, end the game, unfortunately. What we do have to do instead is probably murder a whole bunch of bloody greater mimics over there. Now today we are heading down into deep storage, but before we head over there, thank you comments for letting me know. Apparently, uh, the cook we ran into last time, who ran away, apparently he's on the bridge now. And as far as I'm aware, the game doesn't tell you about that, you just kind of have to stumble across him by accident. So, let's go finish up his story at least. Down we go, because yeah, uh, someone was saying in the comments that he just sort of flees over here to the escape pods, that's what the otherwise empty escape pods down here are for. So that's nice to know. Ah yes, there's the man, Will Mitchell, right over there. Okay, so we've located, so we know he's not Will Mitchell. Okay, Psychoscope, you're messing up here, quite frankly. So, shotgun out, because I don't trust him for one bloody second. So weapons at the ready here, weapons at the ready, if he causes trouble. Hi there, Will. Morgan, you... <coughs> this pod will work, but I do not know how to launch it. I'm just going to assume I'm role-playing as an idiot, and I'm going to step inside and he's going to try and kill me, isn't he? We are over now. Yeah! There we go. I'm going to be honest, it wasn't the best trap. Like, if he wanted to trap me, then surely he'd have, like, you know, attached it to the ceiling up here or something. Then it would have triggered, like, on top of me, but never mind. Okay, I'm told that, unfortunately, because he escaped from the kitchen, there's now potentially going to be traps that he laid potentially all over the station, even though he's now already dead. So it's nice that he's dead, but, uh, yeah, he might be annoying yet. So, back to the good old Arboretum, and yes indeed, now we just need to be heading on our way into deep storage via the elevator here. Lovely. Though I think I'm sitting on a giant, giant pile of neuromods right now. So before we head into a new area, let's think what we're going to do there, because we could do some good stuff. Oh yeah, 18 at the moment. Very, very nice indeed. Now I think actually, rather than like the big ticket items, we can take a few basic ones for quite a bit of advantage here. So say for just three, I could get my med kits working much, much better and metabolic boost for the well-fed bonus, i.e. like the ongoing health benefit you get from food. That'd be good. And health gained from consuming food. Like I get a lot of health back from food. That's only three neuromods. So I'm totally having that. Yes, for just three neuromods. That's got to be worth it. Now, lab tech two and indeed gunsmith two are both tempting. Gunsmith 2 I probably get more use out of. Lab Tech 2, for the most part, I just want for the flipping glue cannon, because the cubium, I don't really have enough ammo to justify continually using it. I've already maxed out how powerful my guns could be. I could spend 8 on Toughness 2, or I could just spend 3 on Mobility for huge amounts of jumpy, sprinty, whatever, or 5 for Combat Focus 2. And then, yeah, while I'm in Combat Focus... 10% damage increase. That's really tempting. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for Combat Focus 2 right now. I'm going to take Gunsmith 2. My glue cannon is effective enough for the time being. And then does that leave me enough left over to take? Yep. I'm going to take Mobility 1 as well. So now I'm running faster as well. Lovely. Next time I've got a handful, I'll probably take Lab Tech 2. But that now means that with all of these lovely things, yep, also auto sort, thank you, isn't that lovely? Now with all of these lovely things, combine that with my shotgun. And now, yes, now this is good. Oh, yeah. 89. Lovely. And then beyond that, 98. Yeah, I'm just going to go all in on the firepower for the shotgun. So the shotgun's now doing almost 100 damage a shot. Perfect. And then, ooh, 6 up to 8 in its ammo capacity. That's bloody tempting. Yeah, you know what? The shotgun's brilliant. Keep going for the shotgun. Because that's just making the ammo more efficient. I'm just basically increasing the amount of damage per ammo used, whereas ammo cost stays the same. So getting the damage up is always a good idea. Right. Shotgun, ludicrously powerful. Just rearrange my stuff. Marvellous. And I've got a ton of space here as well. Nice. Life is under control. We've got, yep, reload that higher. Oh, yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. I am happy now. Right, to the voice log. January, do you think? Voice identification required. Please repeat the following words. Chameleon. Chasm. Antipathy. Speculation. Chameleon. Chasm. Antipathy. Speculation. All right, job flipping done. Nice, into deep storage we go. Every bit of sensitive data generated aboard Talos-1 is captured and backed up in deep storage. Useful. So I'm now trapped in here. Fine. Welcome to deep storage. If Talos One had a subconscious, this would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has the plan for your arming key. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime. Okay. First thing I want to do, obviously, is find the... Oh! Well, first thing I want to do is avoid dying to random... Oh! Injured Phantom. Okay. There we go. Nice and dead. Lovely. What I'd already injured you. Possibly just walking through fire. Sometimes they do do stupid stuff like walking through fire when they're not the fire resistant ones. Right, so. This here is deep storage. So, nothing we know here aside from the fact, yeah, you can kind of see roughly how big an area is going to be. So, level one actually seems pretty bloody small, actually. The basement seems not huge either. Level 2 seems not that big either. Okay, this seems like a pretty small area then. Okay, fine. We got data vaults up this way. Can't uh, do that with the... Nope, do not have either the hacking or the code for that yet. So don't worry about that for the time being. Let's have a look around and see what we can figure out here. Oh, bloody hell. Technopaths, love you guys. Still upgraded shotgun. Combat focus 2. I think we're ready for you. Right, and... Go and boom, 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 and dead. That's how you do it. That's how it's flipping done. Also, you're coming for me, aren't you? You're in a completely corrupted one. Fine, well, in that case, boom, 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 boom. Oh, there's a turret that's totally not on my side. Right, one of the evil corrupted turrets got dropped then. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Screw you. Lovely. Every dark bit of data that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to face reality. All right. Grab myself some stuff off you. Lovely. And more. Oh, I was hoping for QMO stuff, but never mind. Right. So I could fix this if I wanted to, but I could probably afford it, but I'm okay for the time being. Yeah, there's a lot of explosive canisters around here. Use them if we need to. Also, thing I haven't really been doing that people in the comments have been mentioning, apparently, like, you know, tossing using, like, the reason why you'd want to use leverage rather than just using, like, recyclers to like, get heavy stuff out of the way is, apparently, like, leverage three, once you get that and you're throwing really damn big things, the damage off that's huge. So it's a really good way of getting loads of damage. And are you safe? Radioactive waste. Probably don't toss that around. That'd probably be a terrible idea. Always like to help myself to a whole bunch of drinks, though. Very good. So, find the central repository, which I've apparently done. Yep, there it is. And I need to unseal the doors. Gotcha. Well, this over here looks like a security office of some description. This up here. Yeah, unpowered. So basically, I just need to get power back. Can we get straight into here? No. Need a key card, nothing else, and I'm guessing yes indeed. Ah, but I can just hop inside. Fine. Hang on. Just need something nice and small, a mug or something. Headphones. Headphones will do. Just absolutely flipping spot on. Right, in we go. So just drop those there. Go over to my Mimic Matter power. And in we go. Love. You 
weren't supposed to fall down. Here we are, good old mug. A trust mug. Mug works better. Headphones never again. There we go. Through no. There we go. Nice. Sai is low. That's fine. I have 10 bajillion Psy hypos right flipping here. So boom and boom. Nice. EMP charge fabrication. Already got that weapon upgrade. That's always welcome as well. Help myself to ammo. And we'll take this stuff because, yeah, if I happen to run into a breaky downy thingy, I can break that down. We've also got ourselves... Are you actually working? No, you're not, but I can hack you. Very nice and simple. And this one's just a flipping gift from the gods. Nice and done. Good. Back at full health. Unlock the door. Now, over to the computer. Obviously, get myself a map. Very, very important indeed, so I can see what's going on here. So, yeah, through that door to the data vault thing is basically very, very little indeed. Down in the basement is... Ah, I see. That there will be the elevator that leads down into the central data repository. So, I just need to get up there. And up to level two... What I really need is, well, I was kind of hoping for a power kiosk to show up. Because, yeah, the doors are unpowered. Possibly I can use the computers in here to fix that right now. Also, just double check the crew. Is anyone else alive? We've got, ah, Danielle Show. Yep, fine. So she's, ah, she works here. Oh, her computer might be here. If her computer's here, then that would mean, potentially, if I find her terminal, I could find her treasure map. All right, we might be able to do that quest yet. Okay. Now, another computer here we've got. Ah, grant access to the central repository. Well, that was nice and bloody easy. Uh-oh. Critical door error. That's a concern. What's, what's wrong with said doors? Hello? Critical, yep, crit critical error. Yep, fine. System will schedule an engineer to diagnose the problem and then, then, then everything just died. I mean, this is just a... Ah! Oh, is it a zero-G environment down there? Okay, that's cool. Fine, before we head down there, because that might be my ultimate objective, presumably. Do we have anything in the first room I missed while I was passing through? Was oh, Mimic, 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 screw you. Right, watch out for the Mimic. Yeah, we know there's a data vault over here, but I don't have a code for it yet. And I can't hack it. We know there's some um, stuff over here that's just outside -y stuff. I've already dealt with you. Ah, but... There's a way to drop down in here. And also the game's playing the drama creepy music. Not sure what's dramery or creepy, but I'm guessing something is. And the answer is nothing. It's just an alternative way of getting through to here. That's... that's literally it. Fine. Well, in that case, nowhere else to go. Unless, of course, I can skip upstairs using glue. Is that going to be... likely... Okay, yes. Yes, I can just. can just climb up a little thing here to get up top. But is there any benefit to me having done so? Well, I'm up on the second floor now, which is good. And ooh, Danielle Show's office is up here. Yes, this is just the thing. Right. Prepare myself, though. Oh, Thermic Phantom. Give that a scan. We haven't bothered scanning, though, so far. Now there's something else in here as well. Yep, fine. Super Thermal 2, which I don't use. Uh, and just a basic mimic over there as well. Fine. You know what? Let's just get some glue, 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 glue. Shotgun. And, oh, yeah. You know what? I think you're in trouble now, my friend. Thank you. Right. And, oh, go away, mimic. And anything else? I think we've already, we already killed you. I think we already killed him. Yep, fine. Those both dead. Lovely. And now the pools of oil are on fire, which is irritating, but never mind. And we've got ourselves, yep, we've got ourselves rather bloody conveniently some recyclers, which I, oh, I need to use your, uh, need to use your recycler too, actually, because I'm a little bit full up. Right, so just dump all the junk and also pick up all of this, because yes, indeed, we've got ourselves stuff I'm not using there. Lovely, that'll be a ton of flipping minerals. Oh, yeah, 2.34 minerals just off that. Beautiful. We've also got, oh, empty medkit over there. That's disappointing. Huntress bolt caster and a poly shield. All right. Grants increased protection against physical damage. That's not a bad idea, right? What can I get rid of here? Reduces time it takes to pick up heavy objects. Don't need that. Put on increased damage resistance in general to physical attacks. That's much better. And her character sheet was indeed here. Melindra Shadow Corner. Aww. Her and Abby were very sweet together. I'm sorry it didn't work out. 
And recycle plan here as well. Recyclers are great. That's marvelously good news. And we've got ourselves... Ah! Security key! Useful. Oh, and blimey, now each item of eaten food is worth flipping ten and also more well-rested. That's beautiful. Right, two neuromods as well and multiple computer screens. All right, tracking bracelet protocol. Warning, sending a kill signal to a tracking bracelet is a violation of Transdar policy. Do not deactivate your tracking bracelet for any reason without proper authorization. Okay, fine. But a load of people have been taking off their bracelets, irritating me as I am well aware. There we are, Daniel shows bracelets. Hang on, I need to look at it. Can I look at it? Okay, not necessarily that useful then. I'm not sure what that means in that case. Right, never mind. On to our other computer. So, files and charge plans. Okay, what's one of them? And that is... Ah, EMP charge fabrication. Already got that treasure hunt. That's right. So, that is uh, the final treasure map. So, ELB over there. Don't know what that is unfortunately right we may need to come back to that but now yeah the quest is updated to investigate all of the maps so leave that for now go over to your emails I want to remind you we have sensitive information regarding the volunteers i'd like to make sure it's secure fine we know about that of course are you certain about this if the operator exists where would it be Doctor you an operator follows and owners commands the letter morgan may have built an unlicensed model ah January, fine. So someone was suspicious, Alex was suspicious of January and tried to bring Daniel's show to help me out here. And there's the treasure hunt thing, gotcha. Now there's a fabricator right here. How much do I have? I've got flipping... Is that 41 exotic? <laughs> bloody hell, guys. I've got 41 bloody exotic. Uh, glue canister is... That's to request... Everything requires minerals. Everything is minerals. It's so annoying. Right, shotgun shells. I need the shotgun shells. That's urgent at the minute because the shotgun is just amazing and it's keeping me going. But I've got such a ridiculously large amount of flipping, uh, yeah, exotic right now. That's insane. So that is technically, in fact, the command center. And I've got her security key card now. So I'm assuming I can access the data vaults that are supposedly at the far end of this area. Yeah, data vaults. Screw there, I'm supposed to be going through. I'm going over here. So we've got this area. Data vault. This feels like it's a little bit on the electrocuting people's side. We can fix that up. Confidential records can only be accessed with... Oh. Only hacking for. Oh, I wish I could get in there. That sounds like a really damn fun room. Uh, any other way to get... Ooh. Can't help but notice. Looks to me like if I was to climb up there, I might be able to pull that off. Looks like there's... Yeah, there's something to stand on up there. Right. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's just go crack open the doors. Including... Notes here. Chief Show says you've been great. Your corrective is closed. I'm very impressed. We'll be getting you down to that workstation ASAP. Signed, Sarah. Sarah's head of security, I believe. Check with Chief Show. Signed, Firearm. Check space for tampering. Walk the entire area. Check all rooms. Get someone to wash the security booth windows. Find just a checklist for someone around here. Nothing major. I'm assuming right here I will be able to just hit the button. And there we are. That's now open. And we've got a dead person. That's never good. Heather Bentz. Just some stuff on you. You actually died in the toilet. Not a good place to die. Well, there's not a really great place to die, but that's a particularly, like, you know, unromantic place to die in the toilet. So, data vault is all sealed up, but that's fine. I think I can just basically hack my way in here, rather than bothering with climbing up, because again, it looks like I could probably get in from above. We've also got... Ah, we've got a weaver over there. Let's give that a scan, I haven't actually finished scanning those guys yet. Hello there, Mr. No. No, no, come back. Gosh darn it, bastard got too far away. There we go, got a second chance now. Beautiful, Phantom Genesis 2 available. I'll never use it, but I'd like to know about it. And we've got Andrew Gray is here. Okay, ah, Andrew Gray is very conveniently placed. Because I think he's now standing, probably, hopefully, in range of this thing. So Andrew Gray, you just stand right there, please. And now if we're lucky, that will have just done some good damage to him. Yeah, yep, I think we've just melted him, lovely. In which case, let's actually get my Combat Focus 2 ready. And Shotgun ready as well. Yeah, where are you? In fact, actually, how much QB am I have? Because QB melts weavers like crazy. They're kind of annoying, actually. Oh, and boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Weavers are annoying little bastards, aren't they? Because, yeah, they'll just spawn the little guys. And then it just basically eats a very large amount of flipping. Oh, yeah, they've even managed to flipping bring other people up. Right, you know what? Screw it. QB it is. 
Uh, Cubie might have enough ammo to kill a weaver anyway. And the bloody hell was that? Right, Amanda, you're a named character. So you can just come over here. Lovely. And then boom, boom. And then avoid your thing. And then boom, boom, boom. You are dead. Lovely. Critical strike. Oh, I'm down to four bullets. Right, I need to get some more bullets from a pistol. Right, where are you? Where are you there? All right, there you go. Right, pause and Q-beam. Oh, no, no, no. Make sure we actually bloody hit the bastard. Explosion. Nice and simple. Half a Q-beam shot takes care of that. Really nice. Yeah, lovely. That's the way to deal with weavers. It's just like that. It's just so much easier than anything else. Right, get some glue on that for a second. Fix it up because I've got a fair few spare parts. And this room should now be... Nice and safe and clear. Lovely. And this looks like uh, access to the outside, in fact. That is no. That is a way through to the data vaults. Okay. Data vault it is. Oh, wait. Hang on. Daniel Show specifically said, I'll jettison one of the data vaults in order to get outside. So possibly there's going to be, like, nothing on one of these. Because, yeah, unpowered door locked. Because she already jettisoned them in order to get outside herself, possibly. Must be something here, though. This room wouldn't just exist for no reason. Well, I get a shotgun. For the minerals, that's worth at least. So I guess that's good. And a neuromod. Okay, there was a neuromod in here. One neuromod, I suppose, is worth it. Now, what's going to be the easiest way to get up to the top level? Looks to me like, actually, it might be from here. Because there's a nice, easy way from within her office to climb up on top of here. Then on top of here. If I could use that to get up to here-ish. Yeah, like, you know, going along this sort of route using the jetpacks. So if I just jump. Yep, fine. And now to... This is going to be fiddly. Yep, fine. And now... I'm just going to put a spare emergency one over there. Yep, there we... Oh, oh, oh! Balls! It's so fiddly! <laughs> the jumping in this game is irritatingly fiddly. Right, here we are. We've managed to make it up. Now just very, very carefully walk along here. And probably go down into crouchy mode just to make myself a little bit more slow and stable. Now it looks to me like I could probably get from... If I get over to there, which should be a piece of cake with a blob of glue right there. So over to here. Now just to here. Right. Hop over to here. Right. So now I'm up here. But I'm still lower than I need to be. But I am at least at a better level than I was. Right, so now I need to just create what should be a pretty easy staircase to just climb up. I can just basically make a glue ramp here. Yeah, that should be a nice simple glue ramp to get up there and I'm assuming that's going to let me drop inside confidential. Just clamber, clamber, clamber and if I'm right, yes, I am right. Marvellous. So this is now going to let me get inside here. Now, is there any sign of any bad guys? Not as far as I can tell. So in which case, just drop down step by step and then use your jet pack, of course, to slow your descent when you get down to the bottom. But I don't see any bad guys down here. So there we are. Jet pack. Jet pack. Nice. Job flipping done. Right, manual override. Got in here. Didn't need hacking for at all. Got a safe, though. Again, hacking for. So can't do much with that for the time being unless we can find ourselves a code. Also, I think at some point I may have sort of accidentally converted my wrench into materials because I seem to not have a wrench anymore. That's unfortunate. I'm not sure when I did that, but that was a mistake. Right. EMP charge, Typhon lures, one note there. Can you put these in the safe, please? Thanks. Uh, it would be lovely if you could tell me what the code for the safe is, but never mind. Ah. Okay. Director only. I don't think I'm... Ooh. Digital signature, Dr. Morgan Yu. That's me. I assume that will be Alex. Do I think I'm like vice president or something? Uh, so, next scheduled data archival and disk wipe. Test subject ID and not provided by this workstation. TS protocol 001, digital signature, Dr. Morgan Yu. Right. Enter volunteer ID. I don't know any volunteer IDs and I don't see any way to, to enter them. Okay. Maybe come back to that. Yeah, tragically, not much I can do with this room yet for all the effort it took me to get in here. <laughs> but never mind, eh? In which case, central repository it is. Let's see what's going on down there. 
Because that is, yeah, my main objective. I'm guessing I may need some of the rest of this a bit more than I've already seen. Ooh, right. So uh, I can see down there, potentially the central repository might be in not great shape. <laughs> might be flipping full of stuff. Right, well, I've got enough QB mammal to kill another weaver if that's what's going on down there, which I suspect is indeed what's going on down there. Right. Microgravity, in we go. And no, no, careful. Careful. Cystoid nests. Right. Boom. Boom. Right, let's just burst the nest and get the cystoids moving around. What I would like to do next, therefore, is... Yeah, I need to draw their attention. I'll do that with a recycler charge. So toss the recycler charge in. Boom. Go for it. And if you guys want to be... I think I threw that a bit hard, unfortunately. But now they're kind of bouncing around. They'll probably burst eventually. I'm just going to toss one more gently in this direction. There we go. That was it. That was what I needed to do. Lovely. There's still one around, but... Okay, it's burst now. Lovely. In fact, floating explosive canisters. Just perfect. Yeah, yeah, hang on. No, no, no. Carry. And throw. And it didn't explode. Yes, yes, it did. Now, what's this? This looks like it ought to be controls, right? We've got symbols I don't recognize. Drive installation. Please ensure all drives meet Transstar compatibility and encryption protocols prior to making them available on the network. I don't have a drive. Okay. So I need to fetch a drive to plug into here. And if I had to guess, yes, hard drive down there. Lovely. So I need to get that hard drive in particular. Also, I need to come over here and grab... Well, there's a fried hard drive. I'm guessing that's not the one I wanted. Uh, head over here. Just grab myself some exotic material. Why the flip not? It's not like I've got ten bajillion of it or anything. Oh, yeah. Rads like crazy. Good, good, good. Okay, need to burst the nest to get rid of the rats. Okay, and they've all gone into the fire and probably got themselves killed that way. That's nice. And now we burst the next one. So I'm actually out of... Ooh, hello. Do I need to scan something down there? Oh, there's a weaver. Yeah, I thought that flipping might be. And that is all the weaver scanning done. Backlash 3 is available if I wanted that sort of a thing. Interesting question. Can I actually cause a cystoid nest to burst with a huntress bolt caster? I'm not sure. Yes. Yes, you totally 100% can. Right, guys. Go over and investigate that thing over there. That lovely, lovely... You're not... No, 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 not me. Not me. Turn. Okay, they're right here. Come up with a plan. The plan is recycler charge. That's good. That's killed a bunch of them. Now we've got a good shot at it. Stop. Combat time. And... Boom. Dead. And I've still got pretty much full charge there. Lovely. Right, I think this room is mostly safe at this point, so I'm just going to slowly start making my way down into this stuff. Let's just reorientate myself here. Yep, fine. And if I can, I'll just grab myself a one of you on the way past. Yeah, okay, well, I think we're under control. I think there's only, like, there's a few cystoids over there. I'm just going to... Grab this. Just toss it in that direction. See if we get their attention. So you guys, go. That might get their attention. It might lure them into the flames if I'm lucky. I feel like they're on the other side of the room right now. I'm probably safe to just head down here. Grab this. And then get straight back out again. Without any trouble. Right. So stop. Around. Back up drive. There we go. Now back up top as quick as you like. Okay. I'm guessing this then just goes into the red hole-shaped one. I suppose. Yeah. Lovely. So, we have got a thing. Would you like to proceed to the install screen? Probably. Right, drive installation. Mount it. Unauthorized drive. Go ahead. Drive has been installed. Good. What does that mean? Good work. I was worried the drive might have been damaged. You can use Chief Show's workstation to download the fabrication plan. Then we can reconstruct your arming key. Ah. 
Very cool. Okay, that's what I was I forgot why I was coming here. It's fine. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I need to recreate the arming key by actually pretty much building a new one from nothing. Oh, there's going to be stuff recreated around here, isn't there? More stuff spawned in. No. Nothing seems okay. Good, good, good. No. Yep, yeah, I should have flipping known it. Ouch, screw you. Screw you, you absolute bastard. Can I one shot? Ooh. Can I one shot you gits at this point? Ooh, nice. Also, can't have been noticed I'm sitting on 10 EMP charges I just don't seem to be using. So I'm going to split them in two and put five of them over here. Yeah, I'll gladly take the actual uh, minerals and turn them into actual conventional ammo because that's now 5.57 minerals. Yeah, every time. Every flipping time. Nice. Now, before we actually build any ammo, we need to check how much we're going to need to build the flipping arming key. So now this file here, yep, the MU arming key. Marvellous. Transfer that file, build myself an arming key to blow up the entire bloody station. Good stuff. And I feel like someone just cut the power there. Get Alex's arming key in the Arboretum. Oh, did I? Maybe I just got it in time. Morgan, Alex has you boxed in. Look, there's nothing I can do about the lockdown from out here. But I promised I'd help you. So listen. Deep storage was built with a series of data vault modules that can be jettisoned from the station. It's a redundant backup system. That's your way out. Look at my workstation again. I'm exposing a utility that'll open up one of the vaults. Once you're in, look for a manual release. Then your ass is space junk, like me. Okay, so I need to, yeah, get my way out into space, then clamber back in that way. But now she's given me something new. Give me this utility thing. Vault access! Yep, you know what? Just basically, that's your... Ah, that's the one you went out on. Lovely. What what happens if you haven't already helped her there? And that, of course, is what that room over there is for, then. Also, um, what's your, um, code? Because, you know, you promised you'd help me, so I would love to know what's in this safe here. So, start, and there should be something new here. We've got ourselves, yep, one Morgan's arming key requires a single mineral. Place crafting and thing. Create. And got myself an arming key. Nice. But I'm going to need... A second one. I'm going to need, presumably, yeah, the one I actually take pretty much off Alex's. Uh, I'm guessing corpse. But the way this game's been going so far, I feel like there might be a way around that, potentially. We'll have to see. Now, 9mm bullets. I would love some 9mm bullets, but would I love shotgun shells more? I suspect I flipping would, you know. Because, yeah, I'd like shotgun shells more. Shotgun shells every time. The shotgun's just ludicrously powerful. It's just way more efficient use of minerals. As it's three minerals in either case, like 39mm bullets versus 12 shotgun shells, the amount more damage you get out of the shotgun is just ridiculous. Also, I believe uh, I have myself another... Yep, weapon upgrade kit. Guess where that's going? So, up to 10 ammo capacity in the shotgun. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yes. I like that. Beautiful. This thing, this thing's a beast. So, already been through here very nicely, though possibly I can grab myself a... Ooh! One glue cannon. Break that down every flipping time. That's worth it just for the minerals. Yeah, 1.8 minerals for a single glue cannon alone. Just break those guys down every flipping time. So, yeah. I'm just not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing with this screen right here. Maybe that relates to a subquest we'll come back to later. But remember that's there, because that's interesting. Now, she ejected out of Data Vault A. I'm going to eject out of Data Vault B. And we will end up in space. Like space. Space is good. So, maintenance access panel. I'm guessing I need to access the, yes indeed, the manual release button. There we go. And we have escaped out into space. Hopefully, probably put my, like, space suit on, like, now-ish. Probably be a good idea. Also, I probably shouldn't be surprised that, yeah, there's... Oh! Should have been surprised by that, yeah. I like how my space suit just seems to put itself on whenever required, by the way. Like, when I was frozen in the freezer, my kind of, my hood thing just kind of snapped shut. And now the same thing seems to be happening when I'm being thrown out into space. Yeah. Why do I increasingly feel like, uh... Alex, you never had a sister that I was created. Ooh, 
This is the opening of the game. Right flipping here. This is where the continual new game option lives. Marvelous. Right, just grab that and off it goes into... Oh, it can't go off into space. That is disappointing. Right, and I can't get out into space that way either. I need to find a way to manually hack things open here. Is it going to be as simple as just blowing out the window? No, no it is not. Ah, there we are. We've got a button by the door here. There we go. Now I've been sucked out into space. Lovely. Morgan? Morgan, this is Chief Elazar. The airlocks on Talos are sealed, but there's a, an opening at the cargo bay you could use. I think you can get back inside the station here. Okay, except there's like, there's a load of other ones. Like, I've been opening them really diligently as I've been going along, but possibly they've all been locked up now. I don't know. So, yeah, Arboretum way up there. That's locked. Crew quarters. That one's not marked as locked, but you know what? Cargo Bay is one of the few areas I haven't been to yet, so why bloody not, eh? The game is telling me to go down in that direction. Okay, fine, what have you. Cargo Bay, self-destruct key. Apparently they're not quite the same location. I would have thought they would be. Yeah, so we're over here now. Anything else of interest? No, I think we're okay for now. So in which case, just down we go. Keep my distance from the station as far as possible, because I know around the station there are, like, you know, a few bad things bumming around, like bloody technopaths who are awkward to deal with in space. So, yeah, there's the shuttle bay airlock, which I know used to be open, but, yeah, now indeed has been locked. Oh. Speaking of the technopath, there's the bastard. I see him right over there. Right, I need to back away from that guy and head down under here. There we go. Cargo bay. That looks like that round there. Yep, indeed. Cargo bay. Although, uh, there might just might be a convenient corpse here, but see it's kind of buried inside there. Hang on, let's see if I can get over to that. Fine, let's go and investigate a human corpse. Looks like it's right flipping here-ish. Yeah, it's just kind of hidden behind this thing. Fine. Through here. You better have something good on you, by the way. And there better be... Ooh, engineering operator. Well, that's just bloody not that useful. I'm almost at full already. Right, human corpse. Careful round here. Put the light on. That is... Ooh! Is this the... I swear this is the area I've been to before. I swear this is the area I've done the thing. But if it was, I was full inventory because I never got his lemon peel off him. Good old lemon peel. Now, this is interesting. There's a thing out here. 2312. This is Dr. Dayo Igwe. I'm broadcasting to all contacts in proximity. Please, whoever is out there, listen to me. Oxygen is low and I have no spacesuit. An accident in Cargo Bay forced me to seal myself inside this container. But I have no way to dock with the station from in here. Alright, rescue Dr. Igwe. Oh, I'm on a flipping timer. Right. Discover his container number. Well, I know about that one. Fine, it's 2312. If I was to get inside via the Cargo Bay, could I force the Cargo Bay to potentially... Like, dock that manually, because I now know the... I now know the, the code number. It's 2312. I, I just hit something. I might just hit... Oh, there's bloody nests. Of course, that bloody is. Right, round this way. We just need to avoid those guys. Avoid those guys. Yeah, human corpse, it's fine. I see you, Morgan. We've locked down the cargo bay. We're safe for the moment. Yeah, I, I'm not so much. Yeah, I'm just being battered from all sides, actually. No container docked. Ah. Okay, fine. Uh, I need to do something with the shipping container. And indeed, I know a particular shipping container I'd like to get docked. Ah, container controls. Okay. Round bloody here. This is fiddly. You know what? Screw it. I've got all the food in the world. Just keep eating that food. Head over here. Stay away from the nest if at all possible. And get 2312 to dock, if at all possible. There we are. Yeah, 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 I see it, I see it, I see it. And stop. And transcribe. This might be useful. Hey, uh, Jessica, got a minute? It's my day off. Yeah, but can you run me through the container docking procedure again? I, I missed the training session. Ugh, Grant. Please, if I ask Gus again, he'll lose his mind. Are you at the crate docking control station? Yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. Um, where do I get the number? Look at the container, Grant. Oh, at last. I thought that crate would be my coffin. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint hint of 
nicotine and antibacterials. Oh, it's like spring. You are my thanks, Dr. Yu. But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. I'm transmitting the code to the crate I was in. Okay, nice. So you are in gate one, right? You found Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he's suffered. Though, I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. Okay, might be useful information there, fine. So, that shipping container is now in place. Okay, good. And that means now, ah, now I can use that. He's given me the code. Okay, nice. I don't even need the code, to be honest, because I can just kind of force my way in, but that's okay. So, 4950. I really hope you've already left this shipping container, by the way. Because, <laughs> uh, oh, also I shouldn't be in the way right now, because if it's about to, like, you know, explosively decompress or something, that'd be bad. All right, good. You're not in here. I haven't killed you. Better and better. All right, shipping and receiving. New objective. Anyone alive in here? Please. Oh, well, would you believe it's monsters as usual? Dr. Yu, Morgan, up here, Officer Cool. If we can't open the main door or our friends are going to pour through, get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. All right, get up top and there's lots of monsters down below. Okay. But it does rather feel like actually, yeah, for flipping once, there's actually going to be humans who actually, you know, vaguely know who I am and stuff. That's nice. Yep, don't see anything else at all, in fact. In which case, oh. I say don't see anything else at all. There's blatantly something else there. There's a second phantom in the fuel storage bay. All right. In which case, around the back of you. And boom, glue, 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 glue. You know what? I think we're fine, aren't we? Yeah, oh dear. There's a few of them. There's a few of them. Boom, and dead as well. Nice. There's a voltaic one somewhere around here. I think we're okay for the time being. Right, get some glue on him, then just get in there and finish him off with a new shotgun. Yeah, that's enough glue. That's enough glue. Let him get one attack in. And boom. 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 Boom, dead. Could have probably just switched over to pistol for the final blast there, but pretty nice and simple. Now just clean them out. Bunch of useful stuff there. And yeah, more importantly now, each item of food is worth 10. And the well-fed bonus lasts for bloody ages, which is beautiful. Right, over the top here. Let's just quickly check this area out. Fuel storage. This feels like a bad place to be. Can we glue this up? Can, can we? No, feels like it's, it's too extreme heat even for glue, tragically. So we can get into the guts from here. Cargo power load and fuel storage bay. Fine, know about all that already. No power here, though. I can do a little bit. No, I can't. No flipping power. Right, need to fix the power before we can do anything over here. Holy shit. Remind me never to cross you. You killed them all. Uh, let me open the door, man. Ah, they will open the door because I've killed everyone already. Nice. We've actually got a friendly face who's willing to talk to me. Marvellous. Hello. These PPN-8s might as well be water pistols for all the good they do. Gonna have to keep a watch on Igwe. He stirred up some of the organisms getting here. Might do it again. Alright, so you just basically are doing some New Vegas-style generic dialogue. Ooh. Actual human beings and stuff. Right, well, if I've actually got actual human beings in here, I'm gonna bloody search this place first. Nice. Cargo power control. Any chance I can just skip in here? Nope, I cannot. This is one of those properly sealed areas. And I can see, yep, guts loading bay. Again, that is unpowered, unfortunately. And we've got a few bad things in there. But that is going to be how I get through to guts in time. And yeah, everything else is currently lacking in power. Caution, keep clear, you say? I don't think we need to keep clear. I think we could... Ooh. Hello? We've got to think. Ooh, just an etheric phantom. That's fine. Apparently, I haven't bothered scanning those guys yet. Yeah, still no way through, though. Until I get the power back on, nothing in here is working. Chance to get a wrench back, though. Nice, good old wrench. Right, let's just clamber up top here onto the catwalks and whatever. And, ah, not quite. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Yep, yeah, right over here. And uh, watch out for this. There's some highly corrosive stuff going on here. 
Still, lets me skip over the top of this. Weapon upgrade kit, always welcome. Over the top here. And then we've got ourselves something else good over here. Spare parts, like a good spare part. Can we just block up the corrosive gas? Yes, we totally can. Good, good, good. Now, the question is, where is this all leading me? Is this just a way of skipping over? Yeah, I think this is just a way of skipping over all of the, the fiery explosions. In which case, what was the point of skipping over all the fiery explosions? Ah, this gets me into cargo power control. Nice, the room I could not get into before because, yeah, it's properly all locked up. And no, 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 no. For the last time, stop attacking me in the dark. No, no, no. Boom. Here we go. Let's get some power going on. There we are. You didn't even ask me to do that, but I sorted it for you anyway. Lovely. Though admittedly, I did just enable all the automatic doors that are going to let the monstrosities into this room. So, arguably, I haven't helped them out that much. And with that working, I can get the... Ah! I can get a whole bunch of cargo lifts and something lowered. Well, that's good. Does that automatically open up the doors? You know the easy way to do this? Just go up to the lift and activate the lift, and then everything is good. And that gets me a turret and a weapon upgrade kit. I will never say no to a turret. Right, just for the inevitable moment when the bastards start piling through the door, I'm just going to pop that down here, activate it. That's nice. Now, what I actually need, rather weirdly, is right now I just need glue canisters. I'm running really low on glue, so I'm going to spend my minerals on glue, which is very unusual, but, oh, 84 glue a go. Yes, 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 that will do. That will do very nicely. Thank you, game. Marvellous. Feeling better on the glue now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, apparently we have made our way to shipping and receiving. And we are right now, hang on, where even are we at the minute, according to the map? We are in... Cargo Bay Level 1. I don't know. I know that in Cargo Bay B, there's a mysterious shipping container that would actually let me access, yeah, the whole Annalise Galegos plot. Somehow, a few people were planning to put some stuff into a mysterious shipping container. But why? Why exactly? We shall have to see. And that is coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. I think we will do that next time. Have a good explore of the cargo bay. Figure out what's going on next. What does Dr. Igwe want, now that we've actually just gone and rescued him? And yeah, what was the deal with Annalise Gallegos? What can we learn about that? So, that's coming soon. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Prey. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death. Okay, this is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me. <laughs>